testing. There's also the, the punch listing work where we have to fix any deficiencies before the facility opens. Okay, so so for the driver who is going to be going to Virginia Beach from this area on the weekend and, and their trip's delayed, what's the, the, the message for them? Um, plan. Yeah, plan, a, plan ahead. Look, look at alternate routes. Check um, the VDOT and other websites. And for us, if traffic starts backing up too much, we uh, we try to pick up the lane closures. Now, also, there's uh, you mentioned actual sort of dry runs. I guess that's closer to the end of the, the rest of the time that's left. Talk about what those dry runs include. With those dry runs, they end up taking I think it's approximately 10,000 trips that they need to run with different vehicles, different types, different weather conditions, day and night to make sure that all the, the tolling devices and traffic management devices are, are all working correctly. Well first we're trying to limit when we do close the um, HOV lanes and we recognize that it's very congested so we're trying to keep southbound open between the Franconia Springfield Parkway and Point South um, during the the peak travel on the weekend which is that Saturday morning southbound um, piece and then when we do have um, the HOV lanes closed it is because there's no other way to do the project but to do that we're very focused on getting final inspection work done on getting um, the toll gantries and signs up um, we need to be doing testing on those and so um, we, we recognize that it won't look like there is a lot of work going on, um, but we just want people to understand that this is also an important part of the project and making sure that it's safe when it does open. So you're preaching patience. We're asking for that, and I understand that that is tough when you're trying to get to the beach or points you know, south on 95, so um, we recognize that we're asking a lot. Um, we also um, do closely monitor the traffic and where we see that there's um, excessive delays even beyond what we would expect then we work with our traffic operations center and we work to reopen areas where we can so we are monitoring it and if there's an incident or something that we didn't expect and we see uh, longer than usual delays we do work with our um, partners to remove the lane closures.